back to another episode of the 89 Garage. Today I have decided it's time to start getting the 89 ready for car shows. One thing I need to do that I do at the start of every year is I need to change the oil. Um, the oil only gets about three or 400 miles on it, but uh, I change it every year. So I came out here to see what I have because I've owned this thing for 27 years. I've never used anything but Valvoline 10W30, just the old school dyno stuff. Unfortunately, all that is Kirkland full synthetic and I think all that's trans fluid and that's that's a synthetic blend 5W20 and for some reason Walmart does not have any 10W30 Valvoline 10W30 anyway I'm curious where the oil level is at after a year or so She's right at, let's see if I can get that to focus in. Pretty much right at the bottom of full. So I don't know what that is, half a quart or something like that. It leaks out in a year. Somebody hit the stop button right here. So I'm gonna explain what happened. I went to Walmart, I went to AutoZone, I went to O'Reilly, I went to Napa, and I finally ended up at Cal Ranch. Nobody had Valvoline 10W30. This is what I got. So that's what I did. That oil with a Motorcraft FL1A filter. My streak of Valvoline only in the 8.9 has ended. I think we'll be all right though. Well, I just noticed the video wasn't on. <laughs> Swell. So we got five quarts of that in there. It is a synthetic blend, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this cat back on and then we might have some other things to do today. Might do some test fitting. My friend gave me old school valve covers from early 90s. The old school motorsport valve covers. They're brand new, but they were intended they're like 85 GT style, pretty much. Uh, they're not intended to be on an EFI car. I'm gonna have to clean them up a little bit. They've been sitting. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to cut this baffle out so my rockers don't hit. Um, and both sides are identical. Um, my biggest concern, somehow, I have to get this plumbed into the valve cover. I had a plan, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, this side here, I'm gonna make this my new oil fill side. Uh, I just got a, a Chevy style cap for now. I'm gonna try to find something nicer. But uh, I got this to be the breather for the throttle body. This will go into here and somehow I need to adapt a hose or something to get up to the throttle body right there. Uh, I'm gonna start by just taking this one off and doing a comparison to see if this is even a feasible swap. If you have a stock manifold, an Explorer intake manifold, it's gonna be easier for you to do the other side. But uh, with this intake, this side is way easier. Come on. Okay. 
there are my my crane rockers right there those came off a 93 cobra I've had those on there for several years now okay here they are side by side definitely have a different profile to them So when these are going up, it's going, so it needs to be taller than this backside. I am pretty dang certain we're going to hit that. Because on the other valve cover, factory valve cover on the 8.9, I had to cut that baffle out. All right, so I went to stick those, stick one of the other valve covers on there. And this thread threads on this were kind of boogered up so I just ran my tap down it and I mean they weren't real bad it went right in but I'm just gonna hold my magnet on here to try and recover anything that comes out of this It's got some some junk. I don't see. I didn't drop anything, so that's great. All right. So unfortunately, my steel core gaskets are not going to work with this. Um, I do have a large assortment of small block Ford gaskets out back. We'll see what we got. I'm not really certain. If I have any valve cover gaskets, so and I got them in a couple different places. So let's see what we got. Those are for headers. Headers intake. It's all flat bags, four point six stuff. Huh, I didn't know I had that. Wow. And I'm pretty sure this and this are both full of small block Ford gaskets. Now there's cork. Really? fan of using cork. I can't even believe that Felpro makes these. Um, let's see what's in this other box. Oh, that might just... That's just a 351 oil pan gasket. Yeah, that's just an oil pan gasket. Okay. I guess we can test fit with these pieces of garbage here, but they're not staying, I can tell you that. Let's see if these will even work. These have the grooves in them, but they're not in the right spot. These top ones are pretty close, but the bottom ones are not. See these notches are made to go in these grooves right here. The side ones look like they work. I guess I could use these if I cut these notches out. Yeah, I'd have to cut these out if I'm gonna use them. They're not, they're not long term, I'll tell you that right now. Battery was dead. So I went over, picked up a new battery. Okay, uh, my whole purpose for trying to start this was to hear if that thing clacks when I start it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crank her over, and if it makes noise, I'm shutting her right back off. I turned it over by hand, and I don't hear anything by hand. So if there's any noise, I'm shutting her right back off. take that valve cover back off now and just see 
there's any evidence of it tapping the baffle. I see absolutely no reason to suspect that these are touching. So I think I'm good as far as that's concerned. Now we just gotta get the correct gaskets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that cover back on here and just wait until I get the correct gaskets. During the week, I actually put the driver's side valve cover on. It was meant to be a test fit and well, it just worked, so I left it. I wound up using the Felpro rubber gaskets. I'll put the part number right there and I'll show you a picture of it now. That's what I wound up using. I had to cut some of those nubs off of it and trim them up a little bit, but I got it to work. I think they'll work good. So here's the passenger side now. This was a little bit harder to do and you'll see why. All right, so it's the next Saturday now. And well, I'm gonna have to use this oil cap on this side because well, the throttle bracket's right there. Ford used the throttle bracket for the five speed and the AOD cars. This is actually for the kick down on the AOD. We don't need that, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bracket somewhere along that black line. Get that to fit. That needs to get clearance, you know. So I'm gonna remove the two screws, which are right there and right there. Um, one holds, one's for cruise, I think, and the other's for the throttle cable that uh, comes from your pedal inside. So I'm gonna remove this from the bracket and go ahead and clearance on that. I took some doing to get that thing all back in there, but uh, we're gonna work, I think. I got it. Went ahead and made it factory looking, you know, just kidding. Uh, it looks okay, I guess. Uh, if I was, wasn't so impatient, I'd probably take that out and paint it, but you know, not today. You know, this probably isn't coming out of here, but that's fine because I don't need to get in here. Go ahead and put the throttle body back on. I just went ahead and put it up here and you know, you guys know what I'm doing, right? I think. And I just left the EGR stuff all here because it was easier to do that. All right, throttle body's back in there and we are just barely clearing everything. Actually, I haven't even tried to move this to see. Yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, okay. Now, since we lost the tube, the old oil fill, and we lost this, now I gotta come off the other side. I was hoping it could come out of here, but there's just not enough room. Um, I'd have to, you know, that thing would sit about up here. You'll see what I'm doing here in a minute, but we're gonna have to come from over there for this. Here's the final product. They look very nice. Don't mind the rest of the motor. I didn't do anything else with it. It still needs cleaned up. But here it all is. Everything functions properly, no noises, no rocker arms hitting, nothing like that. And I'm excited. It looks great. I got a number of things left to do still, but that was the biggest thing that I really wanted to get taken care of was those valve covers. And I don't know if I'll stick with this or not, but for now, I just got this breather and the hose goes all the way around here. Um, I might redo this and point it that way and take the hose around the back side of the motor instead. And there is the conclusion of this video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And Tell me what you think of these valve covers. Do they look as good to you as they do to me? Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff that you guys do for me. And I'll keep the content coming. Thank you, and have an enjoyable week.
Peace out.